It is tempting to play Resident Evil 4. I've heard they've omitted some of the more licentious details from the original that people seem to enjoy. I don't like going backwards and s there's some details that had a very, I don't know, I guess you could say a Japanese flavor. I guess people don't like that anymore, that's all. <laughs> You couldn't really improve too much on the Japanese design, you know how they are, in, within uh, the ease of movement that they like so much. They turn a, a decent game into a horror show, escape room! Uh, but what can you do? I guess that's their brand, and they deserve to smoke their brand. Every damn game is an escape room, can't even... I bet the controls were, were more fluid in Fade to Black. I don't know if people remember the sequel to Flashback. First game I ever saw that was over the shoulder, third person. 3D polygonal environment. First one I ever saw was Fade to Black. These are when games were, were special. I, sometimes I look at videos on YouTube, okay? Not often, but when I do, they're DOS games. Whether they be obscure DOS games or some sort of a quick collection, because just the UI design in older games have a presence that's strong enough to these days, considering the homogeneity in UI designs, it gives them a feel of it being on its own console. The visuals are so alien, and the, the care taken in the design of everything is so alien compared to these days in gaming. Most people here are young. They don't know the good games. But if I have anything to do with it, you won't die until you've played the classics. <laughs> Some of the DOS games are shocking, especially, you know, the PlayStation has, everything has its own tone, but especially DOS games in the early to mid 90s, especially, they're absolutely bonkers. It feels like the whole UI is supposed to be, it's supposed to look like part of the game, not an overlay. You understand? It's sort of a, diegetic. It's more baked in. It's there. It's not just showing you stupid numbers. It's there. It has, you know, there's some... F people don't really take care in the user interface anymore. Mainly because HR keeps them out of the industry. <laughs> and also, you know, HR keeps the uh, art designers out of the industry as well. And it's people like that. So, you get something that looks like an overlay on OBS when you're live streaming as opposed to things that used to be baked in in the DOS days when they were actually good people making games. It is what it is. Undeniable. It's unbelievable. You know, you gotta look at some of those, they'll blow your mind. You'll end up dead by the time you're done watching it, because you'll know what was lost. Anyway. The most, I don't know, my memories of Xbox OG are mostly, um, KOTOR is the first one, Halo 2 is the second one, the third one's Psychonauts. That back in 03 was something else. Other than that, pfft, I don't know, I didn't really play that much. Thank God. Escape from Butcher Bay, Chronicles of Riddick. Oh my God. Back in 03, it was bonkers. S such a nice immersive deal. A very underrated game. Visually, it was fantastic back then. And it still is now, I'm sure they've remade it. Dark Athena, never played it. I like Vin Diesel. I like the Riddick, well, a little bit of the Riddick world, it kind of goes a little bit twisted, but that's okay, at least you have Judge Dredd in it. I just love the prison yard with Manny Calavera voicing one of the goons there. The prison yard, it was just so nice, it was like a little, a little bit of Final Fantasy VII. So it just, it had a little bit of that to me, and when, when games in, inspired a recollection of powerful responses to Refined game mechanics. It's a special thing, because what do you get now? You get a bucket on the side of you that you could freaking spew your puke in after playing something you paid $60, $70 for. You could look at the years go by with your calendar flipping. When's the last game you played that had an element of wonderment to it? To it? Like the one I just described, that's a special thing. Getting to an open world is special. This wasn't exactly an open world, but it was more... Uh, you know, more freedom than I had come accustomed to in Butcher Bay. You know, you could just cruise around a little bit around the jail, around the prison yard. It was nice. No dice games. 
and you couldn't lift weights. I mean, there's a lot of things you couldn't do, but at least you go around and talk to people. I don't know, you know, we're used to that. The game's pretty solitary. It makes me want to play Invisible War. Deus Ex 2. Played a little bit of it back in the day. Whew, it was a minute ago. Just never got... <laughs> It was so different than the first one, which was very splendid. But I am jonesing to try it again. It's going to take me a long time to set up shop. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's going to be the speed dating scene that we're going to employ. We'll see. I'm optimistic. So I'm just trying my best to just raise the energy there, you know? Try to relax good, too. Thank you.